Hi guys and uh, welcome back to uh, another video and um, it's been a while so thanks for uh, hanging on. I've gotten a couple of comments uh, which is uh, which is great I really enjoy reading them so thanks a lot for those some encouraging words also some critique um, that definitely I've, uh, that, I, that I have acknowledged and um, I'm completely aware of I think uh, some of them have been uh, that the lighting was pretty bad on some of the videos and also uh, one guy said that I should uh, show some more angles of the the shoes, for example, and uh, that sort of thing. So I am fully aware that my um, videography skills uh, are pretty basic, to say the least. Um, probably not exactly. You can't really call them skills. So um, the thing is, uh, the other videos I made in, in winter, uh, in the evening, and the light was awful. This is it's now kind of coming into summer, late spring, it's May, and... Um, it's a bit lighter outside, so I hope that the uh, the lighting is slightly better. I'm working on it. Maybe if this uh, if I keep this up, then I'll redo some of the videos or make some more videos on some of the shoes that I've already pictured, but uh, maybe in some more detail for another kind of perspective on them. So today um, we're looking at a, a chucker boot. Um, this is a suede chucker boot, and it's a, it's a Gucci boot. I've had this shoe for God. Um, I think I bought it in 2012. So, um, yeah, it's 2020 now. It's quite a while, <laughs> eight years. Um, and as you can see, I don't really wear this very often. This isn't what it looks, what the shoe generally would look like after eight years of, you know, vigorous wearing. Um, it's a shoe that I, when I wear it, I really enjoy it. I think it's uh, it's a lovely shape, actually. It's uh, not as chiseled as some others. It's very classic looking uh, chucker boot um, with, with four eyelids here. And, um, you know, the, the laces, I guess, are quite, well, they're quite wide, I suppose. Um, it has a crepe sole. And um, yeah, it has a really sort of, um, it has some branding over here. It's got the name Gucci on it, if you can even see that, but it's so discreet um, that I thought, you know, I'll go for it. Back in 2012 when I got these, um, I think it was born in the 90s, but this insane branding, uh, you know, you could still get, I think you can still get them now. You know, a lot of the shoes have these, uh, I think they call it Guccissima branding all over them and, and whatnot, which I didn't and I still don't like, but these are really discreet and you wouldn't tell that they're, they're Gucci's at all from, from sort of looking at them. And um, like I said, I mean, looking at the sole, you can tell, you know, hardly any wear really at all. Um, I don't know why I don't wear them. I, I enjoy them. They're kind of a casual whenever I want to sort of dress up a casual look, pair of jeans, something like that, I might wear them. Um, either those or my other um, Chelsea boots that I have in, in dark suede, but um, I know, I guess uh, I guess whenever I got them, I found that they might be too sort of delicate to wear. That's It's one of those things with suede. Um, and I know there are so many people and videos even on it saying that, you know, don't be, don't be afraid of suede and it's actually really rugged and it's, a, you know, it's so forgiving and everything. But, well, I have to say that uh, I am, um, I don't know. For some reason, I just don't really wear it very often. I should wear it. I would should wear the shoe a lot more than that than than what I do. Um, otherwise, it's it's you know it's it's a comfortable shoe. I mean, it's uh, you know, there's there's not really much that I can say about it. It's again, it, you know, the, the construction as I've uh, shown also on another pair of shoes, a pair of black derby shoes that I own. Um, they're not quite you know comparable or on par, let's say, with with a Crockett and Jones, for example. But, um, you know, really f f for what it is, um, you, you know, it's definitely a shoe that I would, that I would, I guess, recommend if you can get it on sale, let's put it that way. I wouldn't pay retail for this shoe. Um, I, again, this is eight years ago. I think they were something like, God, how much were they? I don't know, something like 400 euros, something like that, 420, I don't know, something, something around that. So, um, yeah, I guess, you know, for that price, you can probably get a better made shoe, definitely. But the leather's really supple. It's very nice. And um, yeah, I just, whenever I wear them, I get compliments. People, you know, they 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 acknowledge them. And uh, and that's that's something that I enjoy about them. Um, also, something that I, that I can say about them, talking about my experience here, 
When I bought these, I wasn't completely aware of the different types of uh, shoe trees that uh, that are available and, and shoe trees that, that you can, you should get for shoes like this. Um, I always knew, because I learned that from my dad when I was a, a boy, that you should uh, always put shoe trees in a pair of leather shoes to, to keep the shape, which I did, even though I haven't got them in now. Um, but the ones that I bought were sort of the, the, the sort of classic wooden ones, but with a spring on the back. And you can see, you can see here, that there's, there's a slight uh, deformation on the heel of the boot. So, cause I've had, I had those in for a while, probably a couple of years actually. Um, and you can tell that the leather's actually, you know, it's it's bent over back here, which isn't a huge deal. You don't, can't, can't really know. You don't notice when you're, when you're wearing them, but if you know, you know. And um, yeah, one lesson learned back then. If there weren't any YouTube videos tell, telling us how to, uh, what, what shoe trees to buy and all that. So yeah, I've learned the, uh, the hard way, but like I said, it could, could be worse than that. So um, that's it. Once again, thanks a lot for um, for watching this video and also for your comments. Um, I'll try to, to keep up the videos a bit more, even though I should have done because with this whole lockdown thing, you know, I've been working from home a lot as well, but uh, I don't know. I just, I, I, I let it slip a bit. So um, yep, I'll, I'll see that I answer all your comments. Uh, they aren't, I didn't get that many, so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal to, to do that. And um, yeah, I look forward to uh, to hearing from you soon and and um, thinking up some ideas for the next videos. So we've got a couple of shoes left, so I'll see you soon.